Right, morning everyone. It's uh, Wednesday the 21st of April 2021. It's Claire's big birthday today. It starts with a four and ends in a zero. Uh, but she uh, wants to remain 21, so we'll call it 21st birthday. Um, as you said in our last video, we're off to um, a lovely site today, uh, Inkleborough Fields, which is in uh, Norfolk, um, which is in West, it's West Runton. We've done a video just before Christmas of a, an afternoon tea there. Really looking forward to four days away. Um, it's about two hours 20, two hours 30 to get there. We'll probably have a stop maybe on the way for a little tiddle for the doggies. Uh, everyone's looking forward to it, um, including the dogs. I'll just settle down in the usual place. Um, we'll, uh, we'll head off now and we'll catch up with you um, later on. Speak soon. Right, we just stopped um, about 30, 35, 40 miles out of Chroma for some uh, lunch. Um, nice coffee, bit of a sandwich. Um, I'm just chewing the fat on Claire. Enjoying your birthday so far, Claire? Quite a busy road we're on, so there'll be some background noise. But no, it's been a nice journey up, no traffic. Wouldn't expect none today, really. But um, So we're um, looking forward to getting set up when we get there. Um, get set in for four nights. Um, but it's nice, it's the beauty having a motor home. We just uh, turn the old captain chairs around, grab a sandwich. Dogs are quiet for once. Um, and that's it, really. We've just been having a chat while we're having a lunch. Pouring a coffee, courtesy of uh, Grat Brothers. Um, good old Grat Brothers. Um, and then um, we'll finish this and get on our way. Um, it's a bit overcast today. But we've got lots, lots of stuff planned. Um, we're going to bed in for today. And then tomorrow we're going to probably go to Norwich on the train. Um, and then probably hopefully it's meant to be nice warmer weather on Friday so maybe go to the beach on Friday I was going to bring my bike and have to do some cycling but I decided not to I've got my running gear instead so I'm going to have a run what are you going to do Claire when I'm doing that? once the sun's out Claire's out right we'll leave it at that then so uh, we're just about to uh, get on the road again probably about another 40 minutes journey into um, West Runton and then uh, we'll see how the land lies. We'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, we're just coming into Sheringham. I thought we'll take you into uh, West Runton from here. Um, Sheringham is a lovely little town. It's um, really popular for uh, all age groups, I think. More RAPs, I think, to be honest with you, but families come here for day trips and stuff it's got a lovely little steam train that goes out to Hull um, which we've never been on yet have we so I think we might get, we might get on that this next couple of days um, so literally we are just coming into Sheringham now um, we're looking forward to the next few days it's uh, well earned break to be honest with you um, get out and about um, a bit of here actually so yeah, we're, um, we've got some things planned, as I said earlier. Um, <coughs> Ozzy's barking. It's stopped. Um, what are you looking forward to the most, Claire? The break. Yeah. Though we had the weekend, it's nice just to know we got sort of four nights away. Um, just to do whatever we want, really. Just celebrate your birthday. <coughs> So, in Sheringham, uh, we've been here a few times, we've walked from the site, it's only like a couple of miles from um, West Runham, so um, it's quite a, um, quite a nice little walk along the, uh, the main road with the dogs. It's, uh, I think it's, uh, we can see the sea, straight ahead to the sea. Another motorhomer, hello. Um, as we come up and do a right here at this roundabout, you look straight ahead to your left when we come to the roundabout, the, um, the steam train takes off from there and goes out to Holt. 
Right, we're just coming into West Runton now. We come around the bend and then we should be able to see our favourite little tea room up here in a minute. Quite a busy day today on the old road along here. Quite narrow though, isn't it really? Yes. All right for caravans and motorhomes to get through here though really, to be honest with you, just take your time. Um, quite bendy, roads like round here are they, see the A roads they do. You get stuck behind Satan, you're knackered in you. Um, the sun's coming out a bit more, it's a bit warmer. Right, over to the right is our favourite little tea room, we're just turning right now. They're doing outside teas and coffees. We might have to sneak in here with a bit, Claire. Come <laughs> down with the dogs. The dogs. So, up we go. Short little drive up from the tea room to the site. Quite strange this site entrance, this one, because the actual site is in between a golf club. So, we go over this little bridge. There's the old station to the left, right close to the site. They take you to Norwich and up to uh, Sheringham. So we're coming in to Inglebrook Fields. So to the right is the clubhouse of the golf club, and this is where we've got to dodge the golf balls because it's a golf. <laughs> are we? Uh, are we giving way here. Yeah, we are giving way here, aren't we? Oh, Either side. You wouldn't like to live there, you get your windows smashed up. That's why they put the net up and put the fence on that. Mm. There you go. Right, so. One thing I must say, adhering to the speed limit on these sites is, is so important because the warners will be on you. And it's rightly so. So we've got the old golf club to the right. This is new, it's like some sort of marquee. Ooh. Someone's got a post box in someone's house there, look. Like you do. <laughs> it's in the garden. Ooh, a bit of a marquee going on there. So, looks like there's a in there. So along we go. So this is the only entrance in and out of the, of the site. I'll, I'll imagine for caravans it's a bit of a ball lake if you get stuck and you've got to give way. Um, but there is plenty of sort of passing points. Uh, the golf club's either side, as I said. Once you get all excited side, because you know just See the sea as well. Looks good, yeah, see the sea from here. It is a brilliant loca location for a site. I must admit that the, the, the caravan club do have some lovely sites located across the country. So we're literally pulling in now, ready to check in. So, last Ooh. speed bump. <laughs> That's the big one. <laughs> Here we go. So, literally uh, on in for arrivals. We will um, stop where we've got to stop, get the face mask on, and book in. We just set up um, really flat pitch. All grass pitches here at Inkleborough. So we've got the coffee, we've got the tea. Claire's got the digestives. She's allowed it's her birthday. So if the sun's out, it's a lovely day. It's just a little bit breezy, isn't it, Claire? But it's a fabulous sight here. Um, Lenny is being a good boy over there on his lead. Ozzy is in van because he can't stop barking at people going past. He knows I'm talking about he knows I'm talking about him too. He takes ages to settle down doesn't he? Okay so um plans for the rest of the day just a nice easy one I said earlier we're um really chilled out and so we should be um we're gonna take the feed the dogs now we're gonna go for a little walk Change the old footwear, get our boots on. Although it's not muddy, keeps the old trainers clean. Isn't it? Um, we're right near the shower block actually. And although the showers are not open, behind us, there's a block, toilets open, showers are not. We've got the 
van for the shower. Um, for those who have been to this site before, it really is a great location. As I said, we were driving in um, for Cromer and Sheringham. Um, both walking distance. Um, but no, we're really looking forward to the four days that we're going to be here. And uh, we'll catch up with you. So we've been out with the dogs. We just got back a couple of hours ago. So just got back a couple of hours ago. We've been back a couple of hours. Um, had a dinner. Um, listened to some football uh, on the radio. Cause it's not a great reception here. We've got a MiFi box. We might do another video on. Might, might do a video on in the future. Um, but not a great reception here, which we don't mind anyway. We listen to it on the radio. Had a dinner. Uh, enjoyed your birthday, Claire. Right. So we've got lots of stuff planned, as I said before. <clears throat> it's we've we've only just started doing arrival videos. So the last video we done um, at uh, Clumber Park, we done some filming before. We're gonna start doing a little bit more of that. Um, it gives people a good insight, really. Uh, I know Bob Earnshaw does that. He likes doing that, um, and he he, he films uh, most of his videos doing. Um, sort of arriving at which is quite good for people when they get an insight because a lot of people do worry about if they uh, if their motor home can fit down it's a it's quite a big thing for people I get that whether they can sort of get down the how the approach uh, to the site and what it's like if you've never been there before so it's quite good because a lot of sat nav and postcodes are different to what um, the actual site is and there's usually a few entrances but um, in all honesty we had a lovely day we were just sitting there before we started filming we're knackered tonight um, we've done about a six mile walk um, earlier it's a shame because I did say to Claire we didn't take the GoPro out because we done a walk and Claire's just agreeing me out off shot off camera um, that we done a walk tonight that we've never done and it was a lovely view so we might do that again and revisit that um, but honestly we've just had a lovely day it's been a nice time to get up here sort of early afternoon um, <clears throat> as I said earlier we've got lots planned and we're just gonna see how, how the week goes I had some dinner in here tonight we might have a barbecue tomorrow um, but um, I just want to wish Claire the rest of the what, what is it now four hours of our, six hours four hours Four hours of her birthday left. Um, she's busy texting on her phone. Um, so we'll catch up again tomorrow. But we're going to film some individual videos for the first time on this trip because we were here for four days. So we're going to um, say thank you for watching. Thanks for looking at the video. Please subscribe, press the button, and please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, anything from Claire to finish off? If she says that's it, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you watching. Appreciate your time. Um, we love doing this for us. Um, and it's great to get extra viewers and subscribers. But we, we're doing it for us and our memories. And if you want to be a part of our memories and what we're doing, you know, hand on heart, we just love doing what we do. So uh, in our spare time. So take care, speak soon. All the best. Mm -hmm.